Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to create and work with virtual desktops on Windows 11. Desktops is a feature that allows you to organize your apps using different spaces to overcome the limitations of one monitor. The feature is also useful to keep tasks separate. For example, you can create a desktop for a personal task and another for work. You can rename each desktop and each virtual space can have its own background image to make it easier to identify in which space you're on. On Windows 11, the feature is just called desktops, but it's the same virtual desktops that was available on Windows 10. So throughout the video, I may refer as both desktops or virtual desktops. Okay, let's jump into the steps to create and use virtual desktops on Windows 11. First, we're going to look at the steps to create your first virtual desktop. And you can do that by clicking the task view button on the taskbar. If you don't see the button right here, you can right click and go to the taskbar settings. And from here, make sure to enable the task view option. You can hover over the button or you can click it to bring up the task view. You can also use the Windows tab keyboard shortcut to enter into this view that we're seeing right now. And to create a new desktop, simply click the plus button at the bottom of the page. You can also use the Windows key plus control plus D keyboard shortcut to create additional desktops. Each desktop that you create on Windows 11 will continue to be available even if you restart the computer. And yes, you can create as many desktops as you need. Once you created the desktops, you can switch between the virtual spaces through the task view and selecting the desktop that you want to use. You can also hover over the task view button. And as you can see, you can select and switch between the available desktops. And as you can see, every time that we switch between desktops, we get a notification so you know where you are at any given moment. You can also use the Windows key, control, left and right arrows to move between the virtual desktops. So to show you that, I'm just going to hit the Windows key, control, and I'm going to use the right arrow and left arrow. Now, each desktop will have a instance of a specific application. So if we open the task view for desktop number one, we can see that we have all these running applications. But then if we switch to desktop number two, and then we open task view, we can see that we don't have any running applications. So if we want to move apps, between the different desktops. You just need to go to the desktop that includes those applications and then just right click on the app that you want, select the move to sub menu and select where you want to send the, the application. In this case, we're gonna send it to desktop number two. And as you can see from this menu, we can also send this application to a new desktop. And that way we created another virtual space on Windows 11. Now you can also right click the app and make it available on all the desktops using the show this window on all desktops or show windows from this app on all desktops. So for example, if I want to show Microsoft Edge on all the desktops, I'll just use this option. And now when I go to desktop number two, we can see that we have Microsoft Edge. And then when we go to desktop number three, we also have the Microsoft Edge window. It is important to know that if you're using an application on a desktop, and then you try to open the same application on another desktop, depending on the features for that particular app, you will be creating another instance. For example, let me close Microsoft Edge right here and let's move to desktop number one. You can see that we have Microsoft Edge open right here. So now if we go to desktop number two and then we open Microsoft Edge one more time, we're going to see that we get a different instance of the same application, but that's not the same with all applications. Sometimes you may get certain apps that can only have one instance. And if that's the case, if that app is already running on one of the desktops and you click that button, that will move you to 
the desktop that includes that application. So here's an example. Right here, I have the clock app open and this application can only have one instance. Now, if we switch to desktop number one and then we click the clock app, we're going to see that we have switched automatically to desktop number two. Now, if the app was not pinned into the taskbar, you can see that we have the icon that it shows that this application is running. If we go to desktop number one, we're going to see that the application is not available on the taskbar. We might be able to look for it. Right here, I have the clock app. And when we do that, again, it will switch us to the desktop that includes that application. So every time that we create a new desktop, the system will use a generic name like desktop one, two, and three, which can be a little confusing depending on all the applications and how you want to separate tasks on your computer. So one thing that you can do is just to right click the desktop and choose the rename option to specify a custom name for that specific desktop. Usually you want to use something that will describe the content that you have on that desktop. For example, on desktop number one, we can use work. And then for desktop number two, we just use game. And for desktop number three, it just use emails and now you can move between the desktop more efficiently because you know the, the contents of each desktop you can also change the desktop background with a unique image that it will also make it even easier to identify each desktop and to do that you just need to right click on the desktop that you want to change the background and just select the choose background option from here select the image that you want to use for that particular desktop and that's it now when we go to task view we can see that for the desktop name work we have a unique background which is different from the other ones of course you can go to each one of them and select a different background and that way you can identify each desktop more easily you can also reorganize the desktops and you can do that by clicking and dragging the desktop to the position that you want or you can right click the desktop and select the move left or move right option notice that you also have a shortcut that you can use for example if you want to move the desktop to the left you can use the alt shift left arrow keyboard shortcut or if you want to move it right just use the alt plus shift plus right arrow shortcut finally you can always close any of the virtual desktops that you're not using and you can do that in multiple ways you can hover over the desktop and just click the close button and any running application on, on that particular space is going to jump into the in the next available desktop or you can also use the windows or you can also use the windows key plus control plus s4 keyboard shortcut and that's it that's how you use virtual desktops on windows 11 remember to like the video leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing